Welcome to the Simple Dad iPhone tutorial. In this video, I'll show you 10 settings which you should turn off on iOS 17. So iOS 17 brings a bunch of new features to your iPhone. While these features are designed to make your life easier and make your iPhone more fun to interact with, however, there are some options that you may need to consider whether or not to use it. So here in this video, I've compiled 10 features which you need to turn off for safety and privacy reasons. So the very feature which you should turn off is your contact sharing with name drop. So name drop is a feature where you bring two devices together and it starts to share. So an example here. And there you go. So I've brought my old iPhone next to it and it has instantly connected to it. So iOS 17 has introduced a new name drop feature where you can basically share contacts, photos, and files by just bumping two phones at the top or side by side. So while this feature makes sharing stuff easier with the other iPhones, this name drop feature can be used in the wrong way as you may be accidentally connected to someone else in a crowded environment with your iPhone. So let me show you how to turn off this name drop feature. So to do this, you wanna first go into settings. Next, you wanna scroll down until you see general, Tap on it. On this page here, you wanna tap on AirDrop. And now on the screen here, you wanna go ahead and disable bringing devices together. So this will basically enable the name drop feature. So if you go ahead and disable this, now if you bring any other iPhone next to it, it won't be able to connect using the name drop feature. Now the second feature which you should turn off is screen distance. Screen distance is a feature in iOS 17 that alerts you when you hold your iPhone or your iPad too close to your face. It's designed to reduce eye strain and the risk of developing myopia, especially in children. So however, more often than not, the feature can be pretty annoying to deal with as screen distance warning tends to be quite annoying when using the iPhone for watching videos or playing games at night. So let me show you how to turn off the screen distance feature. So you wanna go into settings. Next, you wanna scroll down until you see screen time. Now here, you wanna scroll down and you'll see screen distance. Now, if you haven't set screen distance, you won't be able to see this screen. You'll see an introduction screen to screen distance. However, if you have set it up, you'll see this screen and you wanna go ahead and toggle the switch to the left-hand side to disable this. Now the third feature which you should turn off is Siri activation. On selected iPhones, Apple has pushed the ability for Siri to easily get triggered upon saying just Siri. While this may be beneficial for people who often interact with Siri, this feature may activate Siri more often than those who don't use it. So for those people who don't like Siri, let me show you how to turn off this easy Siri activation. You first need to go into settings, you wanna scroll down and you wanna find Siri and search. Now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on listen for Siri or hey Siri. And now here, you wanna go ahead and tap on off, or you can also select just hey Siri. So if someone by accidentally just says Siri, it will not trigger it. Someone needs to actually say, hey Siri. Now the fourth feature which you need to turn off is crossfade for Apple Music. So if you're one of those Apple Music lovers out there on the iPhone, you need to turn this off as iOS 17 has introduced a new feature which is called crossfade feature. This feature allows seamless transition of music when moving from one track to another. So while this is a great feature for people who don't wish to get startled when a new song starts, it could be annoying for music lovers who prefer listening to songs without skipping the first few seconds of the start. So if you wanna turn this off, you wanna go into settings, you wanna scroll down until you see music, tap on it, and now here you wanna scroll down until you see crossfade. As you can see, it is enabled, and there's a crossfade of four seconds. So between two songs, there is a crossfade of about four seconds, so two seconds of each song. So you wanna go ahead and disable this feature by toggling it to the left-hand side. Now the next feature which you wanna turn off is notifications during screen sharing. So as you guys know, this feature is available in the previous version of iOS, 
but it's more useful this year because they've introduced FaceTime on TV OS. So FaceTime on Apple TV allows users to take advantage of SharePlay to simultaneously watch movies with others while being on a FaceTime call in a split view. So to prevent others from seeing notifications you get during a FaceTime call on TV, you need to make sure you have disabled this during a screen sharing session. So to do this, on your iPhone, you want to go into settings. Now you want to scroll down until you see notifications. And now here you want to find screen sharing. As you can see, it's currently switched on. So go ahead and toggle the switch to the left hand side to turn it off. So now once you're in a screen sharing mode on your Apple TV, no notifications will show up on the screen. Now the sixth feature which you should disable is your temporary password reset. So iOS 17 has introduced a new feature to help people who often change their device passcodes or fail to remember the new passcodes. So Apple now makes it easier for you to unlock your iPhone as you can regain access to your device using its previous password or passcode within 72 hours of setting a new one. So while this may be a good feature, it can also leave your iPhone open to attackers who knew your previous passcode. So if they know your previous passcode, they'll be able to access your iPhone within 72 hours of you changing the passcode. So to prevent this from happening, you need to find something called expire previous passcode. And this can only be done when you reset a passcode. So here I'll simulate a passcode reset. So you wanna go into settings, scroll down until you see face ID and passcode. Go ahead and enter your passcode. Now here you wanna scroll down and find change passcode. So now if someone knows your passcode already, you wanna go ahead and change it. Enter in your current passcode. Now enter in your new passcode. Enter in it again. And now this has been changed for your iPhone. Now once you do this, you'll get this option here, temporary passcode reset. So if you tap on that expire previous passcode now, this will expire the passcode which was before what I set. So as you can see, for the next 71 hours and 59 minutes, your previous passcode can be used to reset your new passcode if you forget it. So if you wanna stop anyone from accessing your iPhone, you need to go ahead and tap on expire previous passcode now. After doing this, they won't be able to access your iPhone using the old passcode. Now the seventh feature which you wanna turn off is unwanted apps inside iMessage. So in addition to letting you send text messages, iMessage lets you share items and links from other apps within the message app on your iPhone. So Apple has revamped how these apps appear inside the message app in iOS 17, as you can now choose apps from the list that is accessible from the plus button inside a conversation. So if you have too many apps on this list, it can be quite confusing for some users, but you can always limit on what apps show up inside the message app without needing to delete the unwanted app entirely from your iPhone. So to disable this unwanted apps, you wanna go into settings, you wanna scroll down and find messages or message, messages. Here you wanna find iMessage apps. So now for me, all these apps are included on the iMessage app or they will show up on the iMessage app. So you wanna go ahead and toggle the switch left and right on what app you want to appear on the message app. So for now, I just want TikTok to appear on my message app. Now the eighth feature which you should disable is disabling notifications on standby. So when your iPhone is in standby, it basically shows you information at a glance when the device is plugged in and it's placed in a landscape mode. So depending on your preference, you can basically view columns of widgets, your featured photo, or a full size clock on the iPhone. So while standby mode can be very beneficial, you wouldn't want others to see the notifications you receive on your iPhone. So to stop these notifications from appearing on standby mode, you need to go into settings, scroll down until you see standby. Over here, you wanna go ahead and disable show notifications. Go ahead and toggle the switch to the left hand side. 
And now only critical notifications will be shown in standby if this is switched off. Now the ninth feature which you should turn off is motion to wake for standby. So another standby option you may want to disable is the motion to wake. So when this option is, is enabled, your iPhone's display will turn on every time it detects any movement around it. So if you don't want your screen to turn on automatically due to a movement, you can disable this. So you can do this by going to settings, scroll down until you see standby, then tap on night mode, and here, motion to wake, you wanna go ahead and disable this. So toggle the switch to the left hand side. Now the last feature which you should disable is contact poster sharing for everyone. So in iOS 17, you can create customized posters for your contact cards using your iPhone. So as you can see, this is my current contact poster for my contact. So while contact posters can be a fun way to introduce yourself to someone you're calling, you wouldn't want everyone in your contact list to see your poster whenever you update them. So to restrict this, you wanna go ahead and tap on your phone icon here at the bottom left, then tap on my card. And now here you wanna go ahead and tap on contact photo and poster. And where it says share automatically, you wanna select contacts only. As you can see, it's currently selected as contacts only, or you can also select always ask. So it'll always ask before sharing a contact. So there you go guys, those are the 10 settings which you should turn off on your iPhone running iOS 17. Now if you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the like button if you find this video useful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.